probably not when it matters a lot. You heard the rules, now it's game live. Puerto Rico against Heidelberg. Heidelberg in the blue, Puerto Rico in the white. Guess who draws first blood? It's Sarah Poleros. Poleros now on the rebound. Were you earlier today uh, watching 3x3 at all? Gets it back in. Oh, what'd you watch first one? Air balls the two, no problem. Dara Taylor right there to clean up the boards. <laughs> okay. Um, Ashley first Torres first floats one into Placido. Placido kicks it out for the two. Penzo oh, unable okay. to connect. Awesome. Poleros the screen. You do. You're the basketball fan. I can't buy it. Placido chases it down, gets it to Torres. Torres. <laughs> she's just well, so quick you with it. Coming out, of course, in the YXE games. Like Penzo awesome. has to kick it out. She's in the trees. And I think. Heidelberg fighting hard against this Puerto Rico team. Heidelberg coming in as an eight seed, but playing like at the least a three, four seed. Their lineup is stacked. Sarah Poleros. Now gets it to number 14, Helena Linder. Linder managed to edge out her defender with that quick first okay, step. Heidelberg Baseline drive. The Puerto Rico looking to tie it up. And now Dara Taylor. Or two minutes into the game, rather. Even she's on the wing, launches a two. Not going to count. Had a whistle on the floor before the attempt. This has turned out to be such a beautiful day out here. In Let's take a look Park. at this Heidelberg squad. Let's get a shout out to Taylor Leonard. from America, Linder from Watching Switzerland, Gustafsson originally Washington. from Sweden, this is about and Poleros this is about from youth. Uh, Germany. And be able to see themselves represented on the court, whether they want to play basketball. Taylor and Gustafsson really currently playing in team the so same team. The TK court, Hanover in uh, Germany. Arena, etc. And it's always good to have one of your teammates be one of your teammates outside Shout the 3x3 three three field. Dara Taylor gets past Shout her defenders, misses the first attempt, Pretty gets the second one to fall. As Ashley Torres launches from deep. Taylor being a little bit more aggressive offensively in this matchup. As Poleros, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Penzo, she's got Gustafsson on her. Manages to get one over her. And now Torres tips the ball to Penzo. Beautiful take. Beautiful, nice beautiful move Rodriguez. from Nicole Rodriguez. Left-handed lay-in. Now a two-point game. Might be a tight game. Definitely a tight game. Poleros with the runner. Too strong. Gets the back of the rim. And it's a Girls hard fall for Ashley Torres. Looking up to these incredible women, these athletes. And see and themselves in them. Because that's as the day it, starts to wrap up here. Games. Totally. And representing some these of teams playing their third games Absolutely. of the day, the fatigue awesome. really awesome. starts awesome. to kick in. Yeah, it and it becomes more a game of wits and well. mental strength than it is themselves. physical. Yeah. As we have our Very first accessible. media timeout, you see the intensity with which they're talking. Puerto Rico know they can play much, much better against a team like Heidelberg. Puerto Rico have the experience, they have the team chemistry, and uh, just a few adjustments need to, made, need to be made, rather, in order to give Heidelberg a run for their money. Canada really knows how to support women's basketball, and even in Ontario, they expanded to Montreal recently, a league called Hoop Queens. I don't know if anybody in the crowd is familiar with the, the league Hoop Queens, but it's Canada's first paid professional women's league just based out of Ontario. Head down straight to the rack. 
Nicole and Rodriguez wasn't able to finish that one out. And now Torres almost got the steal. Sarah Polero strong to the hoop. Big man play. And with just under four minutes played, Heidelberg leading by two, five to three points. It's been a clean game so far, keeping the foul situation to a minimum. It's Heidelberg now up by three. Rodriguez floats one in to Placido. Placido kicks it out for the mid-range. J. Penzo not able to hit. And you get the sense that Placido needs to be a little bit more aggressive when she's in that low post. And just go straight for it instead of kicking it out. Sarah Poleros fouled on her way up. Earns a trip to the charity stripe. Let's take a look at that. That's one of her pet moves. Very similar to Chechia's Vitulovas. And a move like that requires balance and great, great footwork, which both of them have. Ashley Torres just loses a handle on the ball. It's going to be a turnover for Puerto Rico. Let's take a look at that play once again. And Polaris doing a good job of keeping her hands off of Torres. Taylor. Taylor so close, but so far. Penzo gets it to Torres. Torres. Handling that ball so well, gets it back down to Polaris in the low post with a nice baby hook. The one that we know she likes so much. And it's a six point lead, Heidelberg. Placido fade away. Off target. Nicole Rodriguez back into Placido. Five point lead, Heidelberg. And look at the stretch play from Sarah Poleros. Knocks down that two. See, Linder's impressed. High five, in Poleros. It's always great when your bigs can knock down those two point shots. Makes things so much easier. Spreads the floor. Gives a lot more offensive options. And Lena Linder found herself too deep on that lay in. Couldn't get the angle for the board shot. It's going to be Puerto Rico ball. Throughout the day, to play multiple games of short lanes, 
Torres. Torres ball is blocked away by Gustafsson. Polero stripped by Penzo. Great defense from Alicia Penzo. And now she goes right at Sarah Poleros. Makes it count. Tough, tough play. And an and one opportunity. Let's take a look at that replay. Goes right at her defender. Very aggressive. That's the kind of basketball we love to see coming from Puerto Rico. Penzo not able to convert the free throw. It's a scuffle for the ball. It's going to be a jump ball. And possession goes to Heidelberg. Taylor will get us started. Looking for that angle to get it into Gustafsson. She's got Torres on her. Fade away. Great defense from Torres. Making sure Gustafsson is out of position. And now a nice little baby J from Torres. Puts Puerto Rico five away. As <laughs> look, another block from Alicia Penzo. Listen, she's standing at 5'8 with shoes and has had some of the best blocks today so far. Timing is impeccable. Shot clock winding down. Taylor had to wet, let one loose. And now Torres. Be a foul called on Dara Taylor against Placido. As uh, Sarah Poleros takes a little bit of time to get up. Seems to be okay, maybe just catching her catching her breath. Torres now on the left wing, gets to Placido. Placido doesn't think twice. Seems to believe she got hit. And that's why the shot was so off. Again, if you're joining us on this live feed, let us know where you're watching from and who you're rooting for. We always love to hear from our friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our page so you make sure that you don't miss a single stop. Again, we're at the 16th stop of the 2024 Women's Challenger Series. Look at the ball from Laura Taylor. Listen, these guards are getting it done. Playing like big girls. Let us know what you'd love to see, who you're rooting for. We are on Facebook, X, Instagram. Get some behind the scenes pictures from this Saskatoon stop and the Baku stop, which is happening concurrently in Azerbaijan. Two fifteen to go in this game. It's been a grinder. He's waiting for the box to be reset appropriately. As 
to get that sorted out. We're going to have a quick timeout on the floor. 2.15 to go in this matchup between Puerto Rico and Heidelberg. Heidelberg, the team from Germany that is riding on the goodwill of Germany's gold medal at the Paris Olympics. Once again, massive congratulations to their squad. Excellent basketball that they played in Paris and uh, managed to just edge out Spain. So the three, three gods are with Germany right now and uh, Heidelberg are hoping that those gods follow them into this final minutes of this game as they continue to maintain a lead against Puerto Rico. We do apologize for the stoppage time. Right. There was well, a so you guys were volunteers, so you guys putting fix that was happening with That's the shot clock, and it seems to be now. All right, let me see. Are we here just fine. Yeah. You guys final. want some free stuff or not? Two minutes and fifteen right. seconds. Okay, there you go. Okay, you get stickers. You get stickers. Yeah. I'm sure the ladies were grateful for that breather as Sarah Polero fouled yeah. by Torres. Have more too. Don't worry. We'll be back. We'll be back. She's gonna earn two free throw good. attempts. As Heidelberg are now stickers, in the we got bonus. We got a lot of stuff to give oh, away. Not yet. It's just a six foul all from right, we're Puerto back Rico. Action. Shout out to all the people fixing the tech for us. 
big rebound, Sarah Polero. Torres now trying to keep things alive. She's in the corner, gets to the wing, floats one onto Placido. Placido kicks it out for the corner to count it. Nicole Rodriguez puts Puerto Rico four points away from Heidelberg and now Placido on the boards. Torres, she could go all the way. She does, tough move. And Ashley Torres showing the elite score that she is. Puerto Rico are hanging in there. Torres buries the two. She isn't messing around. Puerto Rico fighting to the final whistle. And it is now a four point game. Heidelberg 13, Puerto Rico 9. One minute and six seconds to go. And if Puerto Rico keep on shooting like this from beyond the arc, then they could just make something happen in this game. You can look at the hustle, the boxing out, the trying to prevent Heidelberg getting that second chance opportunity to score. Alicia Penzo throws it to Torres. Rodriguez wanted it in the low post. Torres says, no, I'll handle this on my own. Straight to the rack. And it's a one point game. Taylor off. 30 seconds to go. And we said it, this game was going to go down to the wire. The ball is poked away by Dara Taylor. And it's going to be the final time out for, the, for these two teams as Puerto Rico, against all odds, have fought their way to just one point from evening out the score. 24 seconds on the clock. Just enough time for a couple of possessions. As we take a look at what... Puerto Rico did right in these last few possessions. They just fought hard. It was the intensity. It was the desire to win this game. And that comes with experience. Torres almost loses the ball. Tries to kick it out to Rodriguez. Rodriguez has to throw one up. Hits the rim. So the shot clock is reset. Ashley Torres tries to go all the way. She can't get it over the heads of Sarah Poleros. Five seconds left on the clock. Heidelberg just need to keep the ball in their hands. Penzo, Penzo from downtown. Is it gonna count? There's gonna have to be a review. What an effort from Puerto Rico. Let's take a look at that replay once again. Penzo set her feet just right, high, high up in the air, nothing but net. And did she manage to get it off before the shot clock wound down? We're gonna find out in just a moment. Heidelberg with the win. Penzo wasn't able to do it. And a narrow, narrow win by Heidelberg.